here with a uh, Fusion Classic here, Ubel. Oh, yeah. These two have played, I think, at the past th four Fusion, three or four <laughs> Fusions. Always end up meeting in right here in top eight. It is Zamba and Syrup coming to play right again. And I think Zamba for the past, not only at Fusions, but also at Xenos, has had Syrup's number a bit over the past few sets. Yeah, no, uh, it's definitely been the Zamba show for the last, you know, you know, recently in the Tri-State area. And, you know, rightfully so, Rob is such a great character. You know, uh, you, you saw a lot of it uh, in their set last week. Uh, Zamba did a really good job navigating around PSI Magnet. That's definitely a tool that Ness likes to use on these bigger characters, and Zamba played so masterfully around it. But right now, uh, you know, Syrup's doing a really good job, you know, utilizing things like Neutral Air and a lot of Ness's I mean, multi-hitting aerials to, you know, uh, punish Rob right now. What I always love about Zamba's Rob is how he weaves after his button comes out. He's always going for something like a neutral air, but then pulls back or holds in after the nair is already active. And of course, Rob's neutral air is an incredibly safe button that most players don't want to challenge or want to hit preemptively. Yeah. Meanwhile, Syrup here is more leaning on that same Ness style punish game that has become so dominant, not only for Ness players, but also Ness onlookers. Ooh. Yet, Zamba can still close out Ness when he's at his weakness with those edge guards. Yeah, and that's exactly where Zamba has, sh has uh, you know, shined in this matchup. But again, like we mentioned, the big body of Rob you know, makes it really, really hard uh, for him on landing, and Syrup's done such a great job punishing that. And a big factor in that is going to be you know, how you deal with the landing there. You know, that's obviously a big tool that Rob's going to tend to land with, but Sears has been on him uh, very nicely this first game, Google. Yeah, he's been laying it on and laying it on thick. There is so much that Syrup has been doing incredibly right, exactly there, waiting uh, waiting for Zamba to come in with some sort of aggressive landing option, parrying it, and getting that immediate punish with Ness's incredible Nair. And now he's looking, oh, he's looking for a lot more with that PSI magnet, this time just continuing with that fair strings and trying to keep the frame traps going. Okay, air dodge behind Rob, at least by Syrup. A little bit more time here, still trying to add on to this lead. Uh, Zamba just has not looked uh, as crisp as he had, you know, in past sets in this matchup. Syrup definitely looking like a different player right now. Yeah, he's striking very preemptively on Zamba. Like, we saw the parry before, but he's mixing up his offensive timings, whether he's waiting for Zamba to come to him or going up into midair where Ness is so good and air to airing Rob at before these any of these big buttons start to come out. Ooh, that should, it looks like the, the gyro toss up actually messed up that combo for Zamba. And getting it to suplex on the top platform is still not enough to kill. Ooh, he almost got the PSI magnet to hit on its uh, second repetition, but not quite finding it. And he's, Syrup is stuck at ledge yet again. Good rising fair from Zamba to come out with a quick button. And he's not oh, gonna make it. Yeah, the fear of the the, the impending down air, uh, probably enough to scare Syrup from you know hugging the uh, the wall right there. But still a pretty big right now. Zamba's gonna have to play this one pretty close to the vest. It's definitely not impossible because Rob does have access to an EX move, uh, you know, in his base <laughs> specials. So it's definitely possible for Zamba if he plays his cards right. Let's see if Syrup gives it up to him. Yeah, he has to play so well around Syrup Shield, and he has to be ready for things like that. Syrup has found a lot of success with runoff double jump aerials, whether it be yep. uh, going for the PK fire as a means of a deterrent, or just being a little bit more proactive and coming after him with that long lasting fare. Yeah, no, exactly. And again, great first game there for Syrup. The big thing that I noticed from, from last week to this week is that Zamba was not as patient in regards to, like I said, playing around things such as the PSI magnet. That's going to be Nessa's, you know, big, you know, biggest tools in neutral against these bigger, uh, you know, uh, larger bodied characters. Uh, but let's see if Zamba can make any adjustments here because listen, we play best of three all night, baby. So oh, yeah. we shall see how it shakes down here. It's interesting to see him take him to the same stage, despite how comfortable Rob can be on PS2. And, you know, maybe Zamba's just shutting me up with this edge guard that he's looking yeah. to close out, <laughs> but not quite finding it. Yeah, he's still managing to hold this advantage. The down smash not working, but the, <laughs> the dare not reaching its spike. But Zamba is just oh with the tech. Yeah, he closes <laughs> it out. Right? It, of course, when you interrupt PSI Magnet with literally anything, including your own body, the distance shortens by almost half. Yeah, so just a good way to close out an edge guard if, <laughs> by putting your body yeah. on the line. Your body is a temple <laughs> and also a shield. So that, that's self-care on some planet, but. Nonetheless, though, that is exactly what you expect to see from Zamba again. He, like, dissected uh, Syrup in the sense they played last week. It wasn't even close. 
and it's definitely you know showing like shades of that uh, early in the second game. Yeah, uh, interrupting the up tilt with back air is Syrup, and he's looking to find that tech roll in, or that roll in from ledge, excuse me, but Syrup has had a pretty solid beat on Zamba in tech chase situations, and he was trying to get more Ooh. and more of those. Wow, okay, that's crazy. I was not expecting him to live that. Yeah. It must have been like a percentage point away from like not surviving that. Yeah. I, he probably dies with rage, but unfortunately no rage on Zamba. We'll have to <laughs> kind of wait to see if Syrup can make any sort of instant comeback on this second stock, and a quick 50% is no slouch. Ooh, yeah. okay. That is so dangerous right here, you know, for Syrup, but also, at the same time, not out of the woods yet for Zamba. You know, we've seen it time and time again. Syrup is really good at pulling out the wolf from under you. Down air. Yeah, once again, the fear. You know, the, the that, that, you know, living rent free in his brain is like, if I hug the wall, I'm gonna get spiked. Uh, definitely worked out in favor of Zamba right there. Yeah, that seven frame active spike is so threatening to the point where Syrup is just trying almost blatantly to recover high and avoid ledge situations altogether. And because of it, he ate 84. Right. Yeah. <laughs> At some point you gotta like, you know, just cut your losses and be like, all right, I'm gonna lose this stock regardless. So why not? Yeah. Kind of the inverse of game one where we're seeing the desperation come out from Syrup unable to find the combo off of the gyro tick as Syrup has another chance here if he manages to pull something together. Same way with Rob. <laughs> There's a plenty of plenty of means of robbery that can come from this child, but the down throw berry means a clean setup for Zamba. Yeah, listen, that's exactly what you you know you saw shades of you know when they played last week. Zamba just looked so uh, on point, kind of playing unconscious, you know, for yeah. a lot of those games. <laughs> it just wasn't even close at certain points. So you know, made some really solid adjustments there. Uh, we'll see what uh, Syrup does in his next game. It could be a change of scenery. Looks like we're going right back to stadium. Yeah, a change of music, though. It's important. Well, I got to <laughs> say, I love Syrup's mask, by the way. That's a great mask. The, Ch the Chinese food takeout mask. It's, it's so good. Yeah, I, I vibe with it. And if there's anything that we can see from Syrup of, of his plethora of resume, not not only limited to yep. the online Smash World Tour second place, yep. but also a plethora of locals that he's uh, won and on top placing top eight, Syrup loves to be, put players in scramble and in scrappy situations and let Ness's buttons do the work in getting those trades. As long as Zamba plays underneath these platforms, that's going to be incredibly difficult. Yeah, no, for sure. It's definitely going to be really, really hard here. It looks like Zamba's kind of woken up to, you know, playing around the shenanigans of Ness right now for the time being. Whoa! Yeah, don't touch it! Don't touch it! <laughs> this is going to be... <laughs> that poor... I mean, Gyro's committed many crimes before, <laughs> yeah. so it's understandable you want to take a bat to it. Yeah, that's what happens when you, like, hit a ball in baseball and it just, like, like digs itself into the ground. Like, it's happened. I've seen it. <laughs> nice uh, up air from Zamba right there. That is going to be uh, stock one on the board here, but still, you know, not out of the woods just yet. Walking the dog, but the dog did not bark, uh, did not bite hard enough. All right. Looking for the PK Thunder 2 to take him for a ride. Again, the, just the the ball of the PK Thunder keeping keeping Zamba in disadvantage, but still alive until he managed to land on the ground. Yep, that up air will clean it up. A good snipe from Syrup to spot out the la the uh, the laser coming out from Zamba and looking to punish. Oh, and looking for a, a lot of punishes over here. These yeah. up airs just keep going. Yeah, I haven't seen up air combo like that, like horizontally. Very interesting stuff. But as we continue on here, nice catch right there from Zamba, making it impossible for Syrup to land. Oh, no way. The coverage from Zamba, most of the time you think Rob is like a vertical coverage kind of character with things like down tilt and gyro, but this verticality to Zamba's offense has been pretty immaculate thus far. See him fishing for a grab there over the platform. They're going to miss that up smash, and it's going to allow Syrup an opportunity to set up on the ledge here, but again, a great avoidance to get back to the ledge there from Zamba. That's huge. Yeah, he got away with a roll from the neutral getup, but without a punish. But Syrup still managing to attempt, almost close out that stock and keep the percent lead while staying on the ground. A whiffed grab is crushing. <laughs> yeah, that's rough. So that's going to be the stock lead right now uh, for Syrup, looking to advance on in the winner's finals. And again, hasn't been an easy day for Syrup today. So definitely a hard-fought trip into, into a top eight here. And that's exactly what we were talking about earlier, Ubel. The PSI magnet's so huge against these big body characters. 
Yeah, Nest players starting to not cancel their PSI Magma too early, letting the uh, the repeating hitbox keep extensions going, keep that stall thriving, and put up so much damage. He went from zero to one seven. He went from zero to seventy, and that was at one twenty five after just a couple quick neutral interactions. Holy! Now that's what I call gaming. <laughs> That was nuts. Can we take a look at that one more time, Kelvin? Yeah, that was uh let's just see it. That was one some gross stuff. So again, Zamba's gonna get the fair here, forcing a position to, you know, drop you know, accidentally dropping off the uh, the ledge there with the rotor arms and Syrup just right there to meet him with the down air. So that was excellent stuff if I do say so myself. Yeah, so. just kind of anticipating the uh, the desperation that came out from Zamba with getting uh, getting a little bit more time on ledge and I hit his appropriate punish that I've ever saw one. He won the game off of it. <laughs> yeah, no, that was nice stuff. Listen, compared to how it looked last week, it did not look close under any circumstances when they fought in winners and losers. So we take those yeah, to the bank, baby. So excellent stuff right there.